Hello everybody. So today I have a video for basically getting this on-screen display, uh, which should work in most games. It doesn't seem to work with certain games. Um, if I remember correctly, it's games that use DirectX 12. But for the most part, um, it'll work with most games. And uh, as you can see, it's working with this benching software here. Um, so overall, it's pretty good. I'll have links for everything you need in the description, but basically what you're going to need is Riva Tuner, which is actually the software that outputs the on-screen display, and then something to collect the value information. So I'm using Hardware Info 32. So I'll go through the installation. Um, in most cases, you'll pick the Hardware Info 64. Um, that's what I would pick too, but because I installed this a long time ago and wasn't really paying attention, I installed uh, the 32-bit one, which as you can see, it does work with both operating systems, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to download the installer now for this. So, um, I'm going to ignore this because basically I already have it installed. I didn't uninstall it. I was hoping it would just kind of overwrite the other one. So I'm going to ignore this. And I'm going to say no to that because I, I wanted to keep basically the settings I have now. So when you launch it for the first time, you'll get a screen like this. You'll just want to make sure that you have minimized main window on startup and minimized sensors on startup. So that way it starts up with the OS every time, but you don't have a dumb pop-up that asks you what you want to do with the software. Um, it'll just start up and you won't have to worry about it. There we go. Okay, so I'll have this link in the description here, so that way you can just go and pick 6.6.0, as you can see 7.00 is in beta, so I'm going to delete this full release, and I'll extract this to desktop. You can use whatever you have, RAR or 7-zip. Okay, so again, that failed because I have it running, but as you can see, pretty standard installation procedure. Once it installs, you'll have something like this, and you can select Start with Windows and Show on Screen Display, which is actually going to show the output here. Um, this down here, as you can see, moves the, the location of the on screen display. You can basically move it to the corners just by selecting those. And it should go right up in the corner, but because I've adjusted it to be slightly below this bar here, it's it's using that same value for the bottom top, so that's why that's happening. But if you want it in like the bottom left corner, that should drop it right away, right down to the bottom left corner. Um, overall, I think that's pretty much it. You can change the size using this, and then the color of the text using this. So that's pretty much all you need to do um, as far as Riva Tuner is concerned. Um, how you actually get the values you want to output is you'll open up Hardware Info Monitor. So, and then in the bottom right corner here where the settings option is, you'll see there's an option for on-screen display, uh, Riva Tuner Statistics Server, I think is what it's called. And you can go in here, and it should have long names for values. In order to rename those, you'll actually need to go back here. And as you can see, you can rename 
and I've changed virtual memory load to mem, uh, and that's, I believe, yeah, the load being shown here. Probably change that physical memory load, but um, that's something I'll, I'll show you in a bit, I guess. So just to switch this back. Okay, so so we'll be switching that with that, and that'll be giving you an idea of, of how, what you're supposed to do. So in the OSD RTSS option, uh, you could see that we have the virtual memory load and the column in the line that I want to show it on. So I'm going to show, get rid of the label. As you can see, the label's gone. Get rid of the value, so now the value's gone. And then now I'm gonna show this, which currently now is showing in line one, one. So it's actually this value here. So now it's saying mem is 24, CPU is 21. So we'll put it back where I had it, which was line three, column one. And now it's back to where it's supposed to be. So basically, that's what you can do. You can go through here, and as you can see, there's different settings like the clock speed, uh, core voltage, the temperature. And then down here, I have CPU. So basically, when you're going through here, you See that there's the same options, whether it's being shown in Reva Tuner or not, um, whether the value's there, and if the label's there, and then the line in the column. So that's pretty much it. So you can use something like this to go around and basically make sure that everything looks the way you want it. And the nice thing about this is, say for example, if you're if you're doing like a bench and you want to see a certain section of everything you can go through and uh, <clears throat> select exactly what you want to see. If you're playing a game and you just want to see like the CPU usage temp, GPU usage temp, you can have just those two options and then that's a lot less uh, intrusive on the screen. And of course the FPS, which is I guess a big concern for a lot of people. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.